So around May of last year, I took part in the One Marvelous Scene project created by Nando V Movies. Let's just say I had no idea what I was doing. The scene starts with Peter Parker's arm hair sticking up acting and Peter then proceeds to attach his web shooter to his- So yeah, it was pretty boring, but this time around, I wanted to change that. It was the most popular video I ever put out on my channel, and it had 3000 views, and I didn't even do anything. It was also the video to show people what my channel was about at the time, which would have been pretty underwhelming. So this time around, I hope to improve the quality of my video essays and do more in the future if this goes well, but we'll see. So let's get into the video. My favorite scene in the X-Men movie universe, or universes, considering there are multiple. My favorite scene in the X-Men movie universe is by far the scene in X-Men Last Stand. And yes, I know, it's the worst, second worst X-Men movie ever created, but uh, this scene is really special to me personally, and I will now explain why. To fully understand what I'm talking about, uh, let's go back in time for a second to the start of the month. It's July 3rd, and uh, I had a kidney infection. So I had a kidney infection that lasted about a week and a half, which prevented me from uploading any videos. Sorry. So why is having a kidney infection relevant to liking a scene in a movie? Well, I was bedbound the whole time, and all I did was watch all the Marvel movies on Disney+, Plus, which I guess worked out in the end, because I can now do a video about the X-Men movies while it's fresh in my mind. So I guess to get a full picture of why this scene is so significant to me, I'll also have to explain something a little personal. I have a chronic illness, known as myalgic encephalomyelitis, which basically, it just sucks. Basically, the illness flares up and down, meaning the symptoms could be awful one day and non-existent the next. I get bed bound from this at least once a month for a few days at a time. So the reason I'm bringing this up is that my symptoms were dormant leading up to the kidney infection, and then I thought I'd just enjoy those two weeks of not being in bed, but uh, my kidney had other plans. So back to earlier this month, as I'm lying in bed watching X-Men The Last Stand in agony from this awful infection, I can't help but feel like it's inevitable that I'll just be stuck in bed over and over again, even if I don't have a chronic illness, and that I'd be missing out on just living life. But this scene made me think otherwise. Let me tell you why. So aside from Wolverine fighting Juggernaut and Storm fighting Callisto, this scene has a beautiful message. The message that I took away from it is that no matter what you do or what kind of person you are, the people who really care about you will never stop caring about you, even if you're Dark Phoenix. And the fact that this superhero movie had such a moving and inspiring message, especially for the time that it came out, was crazy. Take Magneto, for example. No matter how divided him and Charles became, he still yelled out for his friend when he was being murdered. Now let's look at how Charles Xavier acts in this scene. Even when Jean has Charles slowly disintegrating until there's nothing left of him, he still shows that he wants Jean to succeed in this ongoing battle with her darker self. He'll never stop caring about her, even when he turns to dust like a moth. Now let's look at Logan. Even when Xavier told him that she's basically evil now, he's still willing to do whatever it takes to get her back to her normal self, even if that means fighting the Juggernaut. But when he gets yeeted onto the ceiling and just stays there, he still uses his claws to drag himself to the room in which Jean and Xavier are. And that was before he even knew that the professor was slowly dying in the next room. So he didn't do it for him, he did it for Jean. So this scene as a whole makes you want to think that all hope is lost. But as the film progresses to the final battle, it becomes even more clear that the only reason the X-Men were able to keep fighting was because they still had each other. They had hope. So how does this scene make me feel? Well, that feeling that it's inevitable for me to just be in bed all the time quickly faded as I thought to myself, well damn. I don't even need to care about that right now, because I have people in my life that care about me, no matter what. So basically, this scene was oddly therapeutic for me, which is something I never expected to find in a movie I didn't like. Hey, thanks for watching. 
Sorry this video isn't very long. I just really wanted to speak from the heart with this one and just talk about exactly how I felt without stretching it out way too much. So really appreciate you watching this long. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, check out the video to my right, which I spent four months animating and hired voice actors for. Um, I'll also have the playlist to the rest of these videos made by other people uh, the one excellent scene playlist made by Nando V Movies on the screen as well to my left. So clickety click if you want to watch the rest of those videos. More video essays coming soon, but I would also like to do more story time based videos with me in front of the green screen just talking about crazy things that had happened to me. Because uh, there is a story I'd like to tell around the kidney infection, which was pretty crazy. Um, so look forward to those if you like story time videos. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, give a nice comment or tips on how I can improve my videos. That's always appreciated. Just want to say thank you to Nando V Movies for giving me this opportunity to speak about something meaningful to me on a larger platform. Uh, anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching. Bye.